Hi, I'm Matthias Dobbelstein and I'd like to provide you with a short series of lectures on how to write up a thesis that can be a bachelor, master or a PhD thesis. I'm heading a laboratory of molecular biology and cancer research, so we have many students in the lab who in the end of their stay with us are supposed to write such a thesis. And so we are, we tend to have the same uh, discussion again and again. So I thought it's worthwhile to um, make a few videos out of that. So you could, if you want, participate in that, maybe comment on these videos and tell us how to make them better. All right. So the first question that I would like to address is the following. Why? should I even write a thesis? Why should I sum up my uh, experimental work that I did during my bachelor or during my master in this particular laboratory? Why should I write this up um, and make, it, make a thesis out of that? Well, there are three major reasons for that. One obvious reason is that you want to communicate your science. So, communication. is one essential reason for writing up your thesis. After all, if you don't communicate it to others, it's just your private pleasure, and that's not what you're being paid for, after all. So it only makes some sense if you let your lab mates, your advisors, and perhaps even the general public know about what you have done and what you have found out during your scientific work. That's one reason. Well, the other reason is also quite obvious, and that is, in many cases, you're just supposed to write a thesis by your graduate school or by your master school. And the reason is that you use that to prove your ability to communicate your science. And most people will consider this an essential part of being a good and qualified scientist, that you are able to communicate your science and that you can prove this capability. Show your ability to do this kind of communication. And the third reason may not quite seem as obvious, but you will find out once you have done your job, once you have written up your thesis, and that is, it gives you a great opportunity to be proud of your own work and to enjoy the pleasure of having achieved a scientific project, no matter how small it is. So your personal proudness is another very good reason to write up your thesis because only once you have done that you will be able to fully appreciate what you have found and to realize that you may actually have been the first to find out and to learn about a phenomenon that happens in nature no matter how small you will be the first to have done it and that's something that you can only enjoy and fully realize once you have written it up and once you are capable of presenting it to others. So those are major reasons for writing up a thesis. In the next chapter and the next video, I'll be telling you about the general components of a thesis, what definitely should go into it and how you compose it. So that you will hear in the next video. Thank you and see you then.